you participate in No Not November? No. No? <laughs> Didn't even try. Didn't even try. Did Dating. you not let him? No, I'm not dating him. I'm his friend. Okay. This is a very good friend zone. Yeah. No, I would you see that little look that man gave at the end? This man's playing chess, bro. Hypothetically speaking, if someone gave you $1,000, what would you buy with it? I probably wouldn't buy anything. I'd probably pay off my student loans. Oh, you got student loans? Well, so, yeah. So $1,000 would help you? It'd help me okay. a lot. Okay. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close them. Put your hands over your face. Okay, open them. Did you actually get me that? Open them. Turn around. Go clean the kitchen, please. That one there was a violation. Look, that's your exact car right there. Yeah, it is. That's pretty cool. That one's way cooler than yours. But he's got a hotter girlfriend than me, too. You're a victim! Oh, mm. Man's just watching football on her cheek. And I tell you what, when you really want to know if a girl f**ks you, you'll know, right? Because it's not just about letting you watch football on her cheek, but it's about the fact she doesn't care what you do when you're around her, even if it's someone that bores her. She just wants to be around you. If she's constantly expecting you to spend money on her, take her out, do this, do that every time you're together, maybe she's not with you just for you. And I'm not saying to be a lazy bastard and not do nothing with her. You still got to take her out, still got to have fun for your own sanity as well. Leonardo DiCaprio's ex-girlfriend Camilla Marone details the worst date of my life with the actor. He rented out a whole cinema and made me watch every single Star Wars movie while he ran around with his lightsaber pretending to fight bad guys. That shit sounds amazing, what the fuck are you talking about? And he was probably shit testing you anyway to see if you really liked him. You've seen him on the yachts with the young models, he's rich, you want to live that lifestyle. But you obviously don't like him for who he actually is. I'm not saying she's got to like Star Wars, but she's not even trying to make an effort to be interested in what you like. And then she goes and takes the piss and tells the media what you've been doing and man there's only one place she belongs she belongs to the streets but you have to look at it from a bigger perspective bro when i'm constantly seeing girls naked shaking their ass they titties they all this on social media it makes me not be as interested in other women because i know other women they all got the same body parts my point is is like back in the day bro back in the early 2000s back when we were still in middle school high school and shit bro it was a fucking gift and an honor to get a naked picture. Yes. And if that shit got out, Shorty would be trip, trip, tripping. It would be a huge fucking deal. Where everybody would be like, oh, she is, she is that, she is this, she is that. Even for a fucking a bra and panty pic got out, bro. Everybody gonna be looking at her like a But now, she ain't posting that type of shit on her social media. Dudes ain't even gonna fuck with her. Yeah, he's speaking facts. They got the same body parts and the same doctors. They all look the same. It's getting oversaturated, but all that means is less men are going to be simping because they're less interested overall. I mean, you see a girl on Instagram now, maybe 10 years ago, you'd have been like, whoa, what's that? But now you just, you just swiping, you're skipping. It's also rare nowadays that you actually see a girl that's completely natural. It's either you can spend money on her to fuck her or you can fuck her good enough to where she spend money on you. It's however you want to do about it. These old broke ass be acting like we gotta pay to see them. What you gonna do for me? What you gonna do? Bitch, what you gonna do for me? I'm rich. You broke. You asking me for a cash out. Come on, man. I ain't on my niggas fucking it up. Do you know what's funny? The type of women that say this shit, that say they need a man that gives them money, that provides this, that gives them that, they're usually the brokest ones. That's why they're saying it. A real grown ass adult, man or woman, is not gonna want someone else to provide their lifestyle or give them their money or be their personal ATM. You want your own money, your own shit. I shouldn't make this video right now because he's literally sitting like 10 feet away from me right now. But I should just, I come up to him the beach. Super nice, super respectful. I was like, you're so pretty, blah, blah, you know. But then he was like, well, it was nice to meet you. Walked away didn't ask me like for my Instagram, my Snapchat, anything like, is that normal? Or did he think I was pretty? And then he talked to me and was like, wait, never mind. <laughs> He's put the ball in your court, now it's your turn. Because she was oh, sobbing oh. and crying. And I swear to God, bitch, I didn't do it. Why would you ever even accuse me? You're not dead, you're just like, damn, like, my, my bad, babe. I didn't, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. She gonna go back in her bed and text him like, yeah, we're good. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. <laughs> what, bro? Like, that's where the line really gets oh going. That's why y'all are way more devious. Bruv, not always, but a lot of the time, if she's wailing and crying and getting too crazy once you've accused her of something, then usually she's guilty for that shit, man. And not just women, just anybody. If you accuse somebody of something and they start going off, going crazy, then it's usually because they're guilty. Do you ever date a girl who has an OnlyFans? What the f do I look like? Jesus? Fuck that. No, bro. Bruv, if she's got an OnlyFans, she's not for you. She's for the fans and there's only one place she belongs. She belongs to the streets.